With the 9th Armored and the 99th, our mission is to take the bridge of Remagen. We get across, the last German resistance will crumble. I want nothing more than to be with Hazel when our baby arrives. But I gotta convince Pearson to let me back in the fight. I'm doing it to find Zuss, cause he'd do the same for me. If I don't make it home, well, just watch over him, Paul. Oh, oh, what are you doing here? What's it look like? Suicide. Hey, I wouldn't go in there. Pearson's been hitting the sauce. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not giving up on Zussman. Tell it to the chaplain, because I got no room for a second. Who can't follow orders? You weren't following orders when you refused to abandon those boys at Kazarin. What did you just say to me? You heard me. You better leave while you can still walk. Davis told me. It wasn't your fault. You were only trying to do right by your platoon. Get out! Get out! I'm not going anywhere. I said get out! God damn it! My orders were to fall back, but I just couldn't leave them. I told my men we were going to hold this pass until reinforcements got here, but they never came. They never came. So I guess you're right. I did get my men killed. No go. Not without my platoon. <sighs> you think you got some guts, don't you? Try getting the job done day in and day out while your men are dying all around you. Turner would have never given up like Turner this! Turner is dead! Then make that mean something! No sacrifice too great! You don't know anything about sacrifice! How about this? Honorable discharge papers signed by Davis. My ticket home. I could have had everything. A hero's welcome. My girl in my arms. Hell, even a bronze star. But I got one last mission. You must be crazy. Crazy ain't the half of it. I fall in. Sergeant? I said fall in, goddammit. If you want in, now's the time. Get the fuck out of my way. I guess the gang's all here. Not all of us. Let's take that bridge and find our boy. Yes, Corporal. If Zussman's alive, he's across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. There she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. We get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust them open. Look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh. Okay! <laughs>
Blow the bridge. We gotta stop him. Styles, what do you got? They're rubbing out everything. Just buy us some time. We'll handle the charges. All right, I'll lead the way while Daniels and Styles cover the engineers. Ready? Come on, let's go. You two, defuse the charges below the main structure. Crowds are falling back. Stay low and keep sharp. Careful where you walk! Get 
everyone.
take out the bridge. We need to capture those AA guns. Daniels, Howard, on me. Move now. Hey, Daniels, I'm supposed to grenade. Focus the rest of the fire now. Get to those trenches. Move. Let me know their position! The 
They're coming out! Everyone stand down! Stand down! They're surrendering! It's over. It's over. The bridge is ours. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. Just made history, fellas. Worst across the line. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as won. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs, including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. Come on. I get the feeling it's deserted. Still burning. They must have just left. There's a barracks over there. Daniels, you and Styles check it out. I yellow with me. They had them living worse than animals, from the looks of it. They were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them. They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here.
Daniels, you gotta see this. The tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Sussman! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. You're not gonna die, brother. Not now. Not today. out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march, and that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. And yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Sergeant. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re-up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> Crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you 
could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. <laughs>